Now, Singapore must ensure it has critical products and services that people want and can be traded during a crisis. This as it restructures the economy. A trade and industry minister, Chan Chun Singh, says they include specialty chemicals, for instance, or even Singapore's ability to keep its ports and airport open in times of crises. In an exclusive interview with CNA's Brendan Tanoto, Mr Chan also addressed concerns over rising manpower costs, especially in the retail and F&B sectors. There's only so much that we can do to control the manpower costs, uh, rental and so forth, because ultimately uh, we want the wages of uh, Singaporeans to go up correspondingly with their desire for higher quality of life. At the same time, being a small country, there's only so much that we can do in terms of uh, maintaining the rental cost uh, and keeping it low. You've mentioned about you know making Singapore into a global hub. So beyond that, is there more that needs to be done at this point in time? Singapore is a business hub. We have done that role very well over the years because of the stability of our political system, the clarity of our laws, the skills of our workers, the efficiency of our processes. Now, all these will remain necessary, but they may not be sufficient going forward because uh, some of the previous lower value add work related to business hubs will now increasingly be offshore to elsewhere. But instead, we must seize the opportunities to position ourselves as a higher value add business hub, whereby there still be a need for physical connections, for people to transact, for people to collaborate. So we must constantly evolve our own strategies and never be complacent. Now, a disease X situation that the government has constantly reiterated. How can Singapore businesses and workers prepare for this? Everybody is now relooking at their own business strategy to see how the, their products and services can continue to be of service to the world in different contingencies. So, for example, people are increasingly becoming aware of the necessity of not just food, but quality food, safe food safe medicine but we have to go across the entire economy and ask ourselves which are the products that will allow us to weather the storm in the future which are the products that will allow us to even trade with people or even butter with people in a crisis so you mentioned a lot about businesses but what about for workers what do they do to prepare for this we will never be able to shut out the competition and competition will be increasingly global and not local the real competition is not within within singapore the real competition is beyond singapore so the challenge for every country the real challenge for every country is how can we best equip our people and businesses to compete in this global environment and not to pretend that we can shut out the global competition to protect them for the short term, but in the long term to be left behind by the global competition.